Oh, <laughs> they interrupt the video on YouTube, and I don't know why, and I don't know how to restart it on YouTube to get the video to continue. So, this is part two. Going from rookie level to advanced level, pro level, whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, what was I at? The song. All right. So, um, using the process of the theory behind the madness. All right. All right. Okay. Because you had to already know chords. You know your major chord from all 12 keys. your major chord <clears throat> so on the previous video we talked about mixing matching chords your minor with the major all right so so we talked about mixing matching chords you can mix max major over minor minor over major however y'all want to look at it I look at it from left hand to right, but y'all might look at it from right to left. Major over minor. <laughs> I go minor over major. I y'all want to call it. Anyway, <clears throat> so, um, and then I do this process of elimination of chords that I just broke down on another video. I'll do it again. Major, minor, off with the add seven, um, diminish, <coughs> dominant chord, major seven, sus two, single sauce chord, <laughs> right? S uh, sus four. I just taking a fifth in the scale, and we have the sus four, C sus two, G sus four. They both share the same secret sauce. You take the same information I just said and transpose it. Eventually, all of the chords is gonna start snapping in your mindset. On, oh, that's is why. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, oh man, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, that's what cats are doing. So, you know, you now could start developing your own approach or your own sound, whatever. Major over major. I have an F major. Listen to this, y'all. So I have a C major, D minor, right? That's the uh, uh, Nashville um, chord uh, formula. E minor, right? F major. I just used that C major, uh, move it from the one and put it at the top and put my two chord, which is the D minor. G is the five. Um, the six is A minor, right? I mean, think about it for a second. Like, I'm thinking about it. Oh, what if I put that one and put it at the top? What if I put my two on the bottom? I have a D minor 9 and 11 chord. What if I go to the three, which is the E minor chord, and play the same chord and what, what I get? C major 7. Oh, just inversion. Yeah, C major, 7, first version, second inversion. And third version. And if I want to go back to root, there it is. Or on the bottom, it's root. Oh, okay. That was the three chord. Let's go to the four chord. F. I said that's what say y'all might say it different, but C over F. This chord now is a F because now it's on the bottom. You need to know your scales. Just like I said earlier. C major double up. <laughs> now I'm gonna go, I have the two and one at the top, and I got the two chord on the bottom, creating a D minor 9 11 chord. Now I'm gonna move over to the E minor chord. This is the chord, this is the chord in the using for the uh Nashville chords, right? Your scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see D, E, F, G, A, B, right? That's the Nashville thing. Uh, a Nashville um, scale. And then your number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. C, 1, D, 2, E, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, no. Okay, y'all get the point. So I said, oh. Now what if I put the E minor next? All I did was found out that C major and the E minor creates a C major 7. Oh. C major, E minor creates the C major. They related. Oh, so I said, okay, I put the C at the top, and I got this E minor in the left hand, right? It's just still a C major seven chord. It's just the first inversion. Then take the E off the bottom, the second inversion. Take the G off the bottom. This is third inversion. Go back to root. Oh, 
Now I can create a chord progression from doing this. D by the 9-11. Oops, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> right? Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Actually, my finger went to the wrong spot. Yeah, so I'm saying I can create a chord movement. <laughs> All right, now let's go to the F major, which is the four. And put the C over on top of it. I have an F major nine. One, two, three. Why is it saying nine? Because remember, your notes is always one, two. But after the continuation of seven, the notes repeat. C and D will repeat, which means now you're going eight, nine. E was three. Now it's ten. Four is eleven. Uh, 5 is 12, and 6 is 13, and 7 is 14, and back to 1. Oh, okay, so let's go to the 4 chord. So they call this, this is an F major 9 because the F is on the bottom. Right. <laughs> and because I have the 2 at the top. Now I could have put the 2 down underneath and give you that voicing. Or, yeah, F major 9 without doubling up the, the 9. Or the two, if you will, because it's the one, two. But it's the nine now because the number kept the, the number system continue after uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you go back to the one, but it's now eight. One is eight, two is nine. So I can put the nine underneath. Or at the top. Oh, if I want to add the six. What is now, what is that gonna be now? That's right, 13. F major nine, 13 chord. <laughs> and once again, I can create a chord progression from doing this. D minor nine, 11, right, you know. C major, seven. <laughs> Oops, I'm adding another extra note. So, so I can either go ahead and play, oh, oh, I thought I was playing an extra note there. Uh, that was sharp 11. Remember four, that now continue with the number system. It's now number 11. <laughs> and the scale, one, two, three, four, is 11. So I have to sharp the 11 and give me that. So now that turns into, the, remember the six, the 13. And then the four, turns into the 11, so now I have sharp the 11, sharp the 11. That's another voicing, man. But anyway, so let's go back to that F over C major, or C over F. All right, F major nine. Now I've doubled it up, just because my finger wanted to do it. So now I can create a chord progression from fooling with it. Keep keeping that up, sharp 11. And you know, it's tough. You're following what's that? D minor 9 11. <laughs> C major 7. And F major 9. And then if I want to add the 11, sharp 11. You know, just for color. Just for color. All this is just for color for the extra note. I'm still playing the same thing. F um, major 13. F major 13 sharp 11. I'm still playing the same chord. I'm just adding more notes. Because, you know, you know, we all want to sound pretty. Okay, let me get back to that song. C minor. And I told y'all this is my little formula. Everything on the one. Major, minor, all with it. I'm on the one. Major, minor, augment, add seven. Diminish. Dominant chord. Major seven chord. Sus two. Secret soft chord. Back to the sus two again. Taking a fifth in that scale. Drop it to the bottom. I have a G sus four. And of course, it shared the same secret soft because of the scale. Five, five. Sus two, one at the top. 
So it's four, taking the fifth to the bottom. All right, so then I start doing this process of elimination on <laughs> what kind of chord am I hearing, All right? And if I took this idea, so like I just mentioned from major to major to major, major, and all 12 keys, right? Just like I would take the minor move. Twelve keys. I believe in my spirit that I'm going to end up running into these chords, and of course, do the inversions of it, right? So when he played the first chord, almost instantaneously, I, I found out we're in E flat. All right. So the first chord hit me when he went when I heard the E flat at the top. And then, remember, I told you about the secret sauce chord. When it has the E flat in it. Or, what has the E flat in it from a major minor move. <laughs> and there it is. That was the first chord. Literally, the first chord. <laughs> now the second chord. That's when he went to the secret sauce chord. And then if I would transpose that, keep it in mind. Uh -uh. Still keeping that in mind. Still keeping that in mind. There it is. So now I got two chords now. All right, third chord. Uh, can I hear the melody line? So what that might be is um, potentially E flat because he took his hands off the board, but I know it's B flat. Now, because he took his hands off, I'm going to fill it in with the left. E flat major 9. E flat major 9. I filled it in with the left hand. E flat mixed with another chord, which is another major chord, B flat. Duh. A flat major 7. <laughs> and I hear the melody like... flat again remember if I practice my major seven inversions right let me do this first a flat is related to C minor y'all C minor is related to E flat I want to hear those voicings and real E flat is related to G minor I'm gonna hear these voicings when they come out in B flat then the sus2 the secret sauce they kind of fall in line somewhere so I was like oh Flat major seven. Then he went back to this move. Uh, now this time it's not gonna be B flat. I think it was F minor. <laughs> F minor nine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, F minor nine. But so here I determine is minor, C minor, and virgin. All right, F, you remember the E sus4, 2, I'm sorry, and the B flat sus4, and this, they both share the same secret sauce. Why? Because I'm taking the 1 to the top, right? Taking the 2, technically, to the top is number 5, technically, in B flat scale. All right. So, by me knowing this, I know they share the same secret sauce. By me knowing this, Transpose, uh, uh, transpose this to the other key, all your 12 keys, you're going to hear these chords cats are playing. Go to A flat major 7, A flat major 7. However, because of whatever, um, A flat major 7. And then that takes me to the uh, minor chord. If you look underneath, I'm playing the A flat major 7 underneath. But also, it's a minor chord. Minor chord, F minor. Minor. 
<laughs> so F minor nine chord. Oh wow. So you know, um now I might be throwing my little two cent in there. Alright, so that's where we're at there. Do 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 A flat B flat A flat B flat A flat major seven and E flat B flat E flat E flat back to B flat. So he's doing this movement so fast. What he's doing is splitting up the first two three chords yeah so after you play that last chord then he, he's splitting up the major chord split up the a flat he's splitting up the b flat split up the a flat uh then he go go ahead and hit you with the b flat together i think I probably would do one hand. Everything one hand after that. First three chords is uh, a, a flat, B flat, A flat. All right. Then I'll go ahead and play the second version of that. A flat major seven, as I said earlier. E flat, B flat, a, E flat, E flat, B flat. I think. Hold on, here. Because <clears throat> you have to know where you. Go. Yeah. So. <laughs> B flat, A flat, B flat, A flat major seven, E flat, B flat. You know, you kind of chop off. Right? E flat, second inversion, right? Rupert sits it back to that B flat earlier. Second first inversion, E flat. Uh, you chop at it. Da, ba, da. All right. Now, here's something I want to say before I forget. Um. How are you able to also find musicians sometime, or majority of the time, or potentially all the time, is knowing that there's 12 keys. And I'm gonna call this the low, low range for a beginner level musician for me. I'm calling this the low, low, then the next 12 keys. I'm gonna call this the low range. And the next 12 set of keys again, I'm gonna call this mid range. Half my battle is gonna be over with trying to figure out what cats are at. The next 12 is gonna be my high range. And of course the highest up here. All right, and then I'm pretty much, hopefully with some luck, that I got four fingers per each hand and a thumb per each hand. This might work out in my favor knowing that these are my battles that I gotta sit here and figure out what fingering is these cats using to pull this off. That part. <laughs> Kind of like how would I pull this off if it was me? Now you see, I'm coming from one hand, but because I'm hearing it in my ear, like man, they they separating the chords. So he using like that. So he separates the chords. So I'm like, how is he pulling this off? So with some little practice, a little bit as a beginner musician. You separate the major chord with two hands. And from there, you can go with both hands, one hand. All right, then, uh, let's see. And then he does this. And this is really, he's just playing the E, uh, e flat chord. <laughs> He's just basically kind of twanging off this B flat. No, I won't call it twanging. Let me just say, let's say it like that. You know, like you kind of arpeggiating it, sort of. And he's using the E flat chord to do this. E flat. And now he's using a E flat major seven in a way, right? And he reaches up for the last note, which is B flat. So it's almost like as if you were about to play the E flat major seven chord like this. 
you take off the top note. <laughs> All right, and basically you're just omitting the five, or actually the three, one, three, the three, you know, so. So after you did all this move, Sounds like he's hitting the tritone move here. And messing with a piece of the what we call the G major chord. And so you have this tritone and a G major chord right in the middle. You know, you have this tritone and a G major chord in the middle. The difference is is um yeah, now that I see my fingers doing this. Now I can do my inversions of the G major chord. I still have the root. <laughs> and the first inversion. <laughs> and it's like you have this tritone in the middle, right? And I think he's do doing this little melody like, and headed to E flat. So he's doing this little major chord. If I were to use one hand to do it, uh, E flat. He's using the second inversion to pull this off. The same way we did this. And he's doing the same thing, chopping up the major chord and the minor chord. Basically, he's going E flat to D major, back up to E flat. And then we're going to go to a G minor move, second inversion. No, hold up. Yeah, da 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 da. Hey, so he's playing a G minor. Um, A flat. Back to G minor, I think. A flat. The second inversion. And it's like everything is the second inversion is, uh, except for the G minor move. A flat, G minor, first and second inversion. Oh, it is second inversion, huh? For a second, yeah, second version. I'm all like that. So everything is a second version of the major move and that minor move. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except for right here, this would have been the first inversion. So, oh well. Okay, I thought it was going back to the uh, second version of the G minor, A flat, second version, back to it, second version of the G minor. A flat first inversion and close out on E flat. So he breaks up the chord. <laughs> All right, and I was like, what? <laughs> trying to learn how to play like the pros or learn how to play like the heavyweights and learn how to play like and you want to be advanced level you can do it it's just the material you have to pull up and say hey man i want to learn how to play this you're right you know you is i said you could do it overnight but you won't be 100 percent unless you don't have a job <laughs> you don't have no families Unless you just go have a whole lot of time on your hand and spending eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours pulling this off. Now, for me, I would say it will be my start. This will be, be this will be my start. I'm just using this as my start, right? You know, my start. Because it's all about what you practice. That makes you sound a little different. Okay, now the next step he goes to. 
gets interesting, but uh, but uh, ha, A flat major seven. It's kind of weird how he's doing this, but um, A flat major seven. That chord. Now I'm starting to count chords in my head. Now hold on. I think I heard count four. One, two, three, four. I think. I think this is gonna be a diminished move. Let me see. Nope. Right back to that G major chord. <laughs> so he's repeating chords but switching the spot, right? Kind of like, you know, I told you A flat is related to C minor, right? And E flat, right? And G minor. And so he knows how to make that blend. So technically, I would have said this will be my C minor move. Remember, I told you A flat. <laughs> A flat major seven or A flat. So he's going for the A flat C minor A flat major seven. Cause I told you they what? They're related. <laughs> now you realize, hey, I can go and hit you with this G major chord after A flat. What? What? All right. A flat to G major. <laughs> Transpose. All right. So you realize, hey, you know, this is gonna sound dope. So now that he's gonna take you to this A flat major seven, <laughs> take you to a C minor, and we have the G major, right? So C minor what? I yeah, C minor major nine. Now we said this is a G with a C minor, two different chords, right? Two different chords. I told you you can play two different chords. As I said, you can play two different types of chords, right? Mix and match and chords. <coughs> so yes, this is a C minor, but remember, this was C major, flat five. <laughs> All right. So you can be clever with some ideas. A flat major seven to a G major chord. This is gonna still be um, because you know C major and G major share some of the same chords, the uh, same notes. Which means you can play in G to C, some of the same chord. Because you should know your number system. Or well, once you learn the number system, you're going to know where it's going to fall at. Um, so yeah, so this is a C minor major 9. Why is it major 9? Because I just told you, 1, 2. The scale, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> All right. So, ba -da. right, and then he just slide over it a little bit and hit you with that A flat. This also makes you go to like an A flat diminish. Remember, I told you earlier, D diminished seven, <laughs> F diminished seven, and A flat diminished seven. <laughs> what? And you mix that with the G chord. It's right here, literally. And I know it's in the scale A flat. Well, out of the key scale of A flat. So you can mix the A flat with the with the uh, G major chord if you use it right. <laughs> and that's what he's doing. If you use it right. <laughs> and then now you know you can minor that. What if I threw the seventh thing? See what I'm saying? If you use your right, so I was like, oh! Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but, uh, I'm sorry, what I do? But, uh, and then it moves over. <laughs> this is, that's it, this is tricky. <laughs> Back to this move, right? The first one, the first chord. And then he's gonna go to the third, fourth chord. 
tell me when he's moving, but uh. Okay. Somewhere in that area, I'm near it. Yeah. Now I can do it a different way too. Uh, let me see. Let me see. How did I do it? I did it. I forgot how I did it now. That's what it was. Something like that. I forgot how I did it. But anyway, because of my interpretation. All right, then he comes out. And then he takes his hand off the keyboard. And then the organ player, which is David Jackson, picks it up. Dave Jackson picks it up after that. Uh, uh. And then Dave Jackson picks it up. Uh, e flat major 9, 13. I play that in one hand. <laughs> and all I'm doing is the 2 and the, and the, uh, or the 9, the 2 and the 6, which is the 9 and the 13. So, you know. Right, and that's in the background when Dave Jackson picks it up. Dave Jackson piece set up in the background. And then he goes, um, now he picks up the keyboard. Let me see. Is it? I think it's this. <clears throat> remember that major seven chord I played? F major, remember that earlier? <laughs> and now you go play the A uh, F major seven chord. You know, um, Takes me back to that uh, F major nine chord again. I'm just the chord is just not uh, inside. He playing the chord outside now. Right. I hear. It. <laughs> doing is twang it off the C major chord you know you know um the if I'm thinking of F for a split second one well, um the, I'm thinking of the five six five six and then <clears throat> twanging that off the uh the C major chord I think that's what he doing Now, I said, if you're trying to learn how to play like the pros or learn how to play like the heavyweight musician, we have to pick um, stuff to, to to learn from from uh, rookie level or, you know, a beginner level to see what the pros are doing. And you can go from rookie level to advanced level pretty quickly if you practice what they're doing. You know so. Let me get to the beginning because now I forgot what I did. to advanced level it's just it's just the material you need to pick um and practice on that particular material and then um and you know after a while your fingers and hands gonna be like no big deal you know with the little you know i mean you're gonna turn some heads for sure you know, you're gonna turn some heads, like people be like, man, where'd you learn that from? Oh, by the way, y'all, I forgot to do this. I, it's been a while <clears throat> since I've done it, but um, 
thank you for uh, coming in on my channel and checking me out. <laughs> you know, rookie level, uh, you know, beginner level on keys. I'm not a keyboard player. In fact, I actually I hate playing keys. <laughs> Period. Because um, you hear all your mistakes. So it's kind of like you better practice this and be straight up on point or else everybody going to know you messed up. Er, er, everybody going to hear your mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's only my biggest thing. And then it, it feels like it takes so much energy. You know, you know, it feels like it just takes too much energy to uh, sit here and practice this type of stuff. Um, so that's my real reason why I really don't care for keyboard. But um, I've been on it for a month now. Um, <laughs> and I only missed two days out of this month. So I guess I should give myself a little clap and... You know, uh, pop my collar a little bit, you know, like, you know, but anyway, um, <clears throat> so, um, if I stay on here religiously every day and practice on the keyboard from, like I said, I would, these were my very first chords that I taught myself many years ago. And I always use that saying, <laughs> Who wants to stay in the kindergarten level? Who wants to stay in preschool level, first grade, second grade, third and fourth and so forth? So, you know, we want to start playing that college level stuff. But honestly, <laughs> these chords really, they're a basic theory. It's just how you use it and how you make yourself sound different. So I can still take that same idea and go somewhere else with it. You know, say I can take it a little different. Figured it out because I understood the chords I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Secret sauce chord is still a major move. You know, so I switch it up. Then, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I start learning the sus fours, the secret sauce chord, the major mood, and how I can use them. You know what I'm saying? And how I can use them. A different way. Thank. Watch this diminished move. <laughs> that B flat minor nine. Now send me going da da da. I'm come up and do it again. Yeah. And then let me see. Then we went to the major move. Soft chord again with the tritone. <laughs> you know, that's six, seven, one. Uh, that was the accident. I just want to think. You know, now I want to go outside somewhere. Uh, uh. Whatever I want to go now, you know what I'm saying? Take it to the fat court. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's the minor nine chord again. It's the C minor nine the fat way. <laughs> and the B flat minor nine chord a different way. You know? The minor nine chord. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, where, where I want to get to it, you know. Wherever we got away, you know. Um, 
Right, so in the beginning I started like this. Right, you know, started like that, you know. So I started learning concept, and then also I started learning that just, uh, you know, back in the day they used to tell you in church, let the Lord use you. Come up there, slap some oil all over your hand, and slap you in the head, in the forehead with some oil, and you got oil dripping off of you. <laughs> I remember I used to coming home and getting the blessed oil, pouring it in my ears, slapping it on my ears and my forehead and my feet and my hand, and asking God to anoint me. At the same time, I was... I was not angry with God, but I was trying to figure out how come I can't figure out this stuff these guys doing at the age that I was at. So what was revealed to me might be revealed to everybody else different. And I believe that God didn't want me to have the ability at that time because maybe, <laughs> just maybe, y'all, I'm just using this for this illustration. Just maybe I might have been cocky later on. Some of y'all catch that later. Anyway, just maybe I was going to be one of those cocky kind of key organ players. Be, just be cocky, you know. Now I think I'm all that in a uh, bunch of chips. So I believe that God was testing me to see, you know, um, how I was going to respond to it. The other thing, too. Man, this chord keep getting stuck. The other thing, too, was um, I believe, too... <laughs> For my sake or whatnot, I believe that was one of the reasons why God didn't give it to me when I was younger. Because I believe I probably would have been cocky. Like, yeah, none of y'all right here. Y'all ain't going to be able to catch up and play this stuff like these dudes doing. Well, I'll be probably doing circles around everybody. <laughs> but I learned something. God give it and God take it. <laughs> All right? God would give you the talent and he would take it away from you too. That's why I was sitting here tripping off like, man, why I couldn't get this when I was 16 years old or 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Why, why all of a sudden when I'm almost 100 years old, <laughs> where's the talent coming now? <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. It's crazy. But... I went back into theory, right? And the theory actually helping me out to figure some of this stuff out. Trying to look at the keyboard, the seven keys. It's my low, low range. It's my low range. It's my mid range. It's the high range, highest range. So where can the keyboard be playing his chords and notes at? And that I got four fingers on both hands and a thumb on each hand. That's half my battle. What key is he doing this in? What which one of these doggone chords he's playing? Major, minor, augmented, diminished, right? <laughs> that seems like a whole lot for a beginner musician to think about. But once you get going and literally get going, it will be a no-brainer at some point because now you'll be like, oh, man, I'm finna have me some fun. Oh, he's doing a minor move. Oh, the secret sauce chord. He's mixing two major chords together. Oh, okay, I can get you, Doc. You know, that major seven, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then he missing a major, uh, uh, a minor with the major. I was like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing, you know. All right, you know, so, okay. Major move. Major move, <laughs> you know. I'm going to the major move. Oh, okay. And then he's playing a major move. Major, 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 major. I'm sorry. Major, 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 major minor. Major, minor, major, minor, major, minor. Man, why couldn't I get that when I was 16 years old? And I believe that when I was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 22, 22, all the way up past my 30s, 40s, God said, I ain't not, I'm not going to give you this talent right now because I think you're going to be too crazy with it. I think you're going to lose your mind. You're going to forget where you came from. You're going to forget all about these. When I show, I'm, I'm the one showed you these chords, Doc. And now I'm cocky. What? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Where we at? That's where you're at, you know? 
right, so we're on that uh, F major seven move. Da, da, da. E flat major uh, nine thirteen. So he's kind of staying around, playing around with the transposing. Uh, there was a musician I used to, well, I still listen to him a lot. <laughs> a couple of musicians I used to listen to. But one of the things they always was saying, man, learn your major sevens, y'all. Your secret sauce chord. Your sus two. Your sus four chord. Because that's what these guys be doing. Your major seven and your sus four mixed together. And then it could also be your major seven over major. What? It could be your major seven uh, over minor. That's what I was messing with. And also I was messing with the sus four. They sound familiar or sound close like it sound close to what I'm doing like the, the minor to the sus4 sus4 minor sus4 and if I flip it over and hit you with the major move to the minor to the sus4 <laughs> they play around with it okay which one is he going to after that yeah <laughs> Either he's going for the major move or you can go for the minor move. The major move or the minor move. Uh, so he moved over. Uh, uh, uh. So he's moving over. He's, uh, um, so he can go from this move. Remember, because I'm playing a major move. Two major chords together, you know. major move <laughs> two different chords e flat over b flat you know what i'm saying f sus4 g sus4 <laughs> well, i can uh swap that up and hit you with the minor move all right you mess mess just mess with it. okay that's the, that's the next chord then they, and they go uh let me see to the minor move you hit the tritone yeah so he's messing around with this minor chord with the tritone but you know you can play the C minor chord right <laughs> and then he's messing with you with the tritone we probably played a lot in preaching chords right? <laughs> yeah we play that in preaching chord on the four uh yeah it'll be on the four right so he's taking that chord and um if you probably look at my right hand it feels like i'm playing that f major chord but flat in the seven right f major and i'm taking the seven and <laughs> you see what i'm saying yeah so so remember the F major chord, like I said, that C major chord, right? Remember I talked about the um, play the dominant chord? So he's doing that with the F major chord. And taking the seven and flatten it. So this they call this an F7 chord. Well, you I heard people call it dominant chord. Anyway, and you mixing that with either the tritone, or you can mix that with the C minor chord. why the tritone came in and this chord is, is called an e flat six nine e flat six nine we know what the six is one two three four five six right and you already should know what the nine is it's the two right one two <laughs> where is that in the right hand and then i thought i saw sharp 11 i'm doing 
That's the four. One, two, three, four. Sharp four is in the right hand. So anyway. All right, so that's where we at with that. E flat six nine sharp eleven. All right, trying to learn some of this pro chords, some of these advanced level chords. Now that's when he's doing this. Uh oh. up. You hear him doing that? <laughs> so you hear him doing that little last loop. That suggests I'm gonna hit that minor move. Then I'm gonna switch over the chord to the major move. But the chord is still the same, y'all. It's just, just me moving the, the hand over. I told you from the minor move to the major move. It's still an E flat major nine chord. <laughs> right? It's just, you know, you hear cats playing that fat chord. It's a C minor 9 11 chord. If you know, with the bass line, a person who's playing the bass line, they go into the minor 9 chord. And E flat is the 6. So they're going to the 6. Right, right, E flat 6 9 sharp 11. F minor chord. Remember? I'm using the idea of, hmm, how can I explain this one? Uh, F minor. If I know my F scale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm using the F minor, but I'm adding the what? <laughs> the four. All right. So this is F minor, add four. And then whatever I do with my right hand doesn't matter because it's going to be an F minor chord. So after all that, Playing these chords make it sound fat. Oh, what was that? I forgot. All right, so F minor add four, and then he's gonna do. He repeats what we did earlier. Remember that? Splitting up that A flat, B flat chord. So you split up those two chords like there, and then when it gets to the B flat, -da -da -ba, use one hand to do it. And remember, you went to the A flat major seven, third inversion, and you went back to the B flat. <laughs> That's slick. Yeah. So, all right. So you went back to the B flat. A flat, B flat, A flat. A flat major seven, B, B flat. And he just chopped at the A flat major seven twice. All right. Again, remember y'all, where is he ranging on the keyboard? So, I didn't want to get into trying to uh, explain that, but I, I hear, hear where he's coming from down low. So that means he's playing in the low range, not the low low yet. But in the low range, I hear where the chord is ranging at. Low range, right? One note in the uh, mid range, and these two in the low range. So I hear that. Two notes in the low range, one note in the mid range. Two notes in the uh, low range, and two notes in the mid range. And then you just basically repeat the two notes in the low range, and one note in the mid range. And that's why I know where he's at. Kind of like a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, right? You you put a whole bunch of little puzzles in a box, shake it up, right? Shake it up and then you spread it around the table and then you're like, uh, okay. And you're like, where do I start? That's what music is like to me. Where do I start? So now I have to use basic theory. <laughs> now with that jigsaw puzzle, right? You shake everything up and you, Dump it on the table. I used to be frustrated at first. And then it dawned on me like, hey man, wait a minute. Look for that main one piece. That one main piece that you could build around it. <laughs> All right? So if you knew what the one main piece would look like, that you think it would be easy to build around so you're not grabbing all these pieces and nothing is fitting and all that kind of stuff. 
So uh, I shook everything up and I took a good look. It took me a bit, you know, to sit there, look at everything, shuffle everything around on the table. I'm like, okay, where's that one piece? It All it takes is just that one piece. One piece of that jigsaw puzzle, and I found that one piece that I can build around it, all right? And then over time, before I know it, the pieces will start to come together. Oh, oh, okay, sound like a professional, all right? All right, then he does this little... I already know. Uh, There's probably a G dominant 13 sharp 11. Chords I played before and practiced on. Like if I told you, if I said you can start E flat, just say second version of this. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all get the point, right? Okay, so say you practice that <laughs> chromatically going backwards uh, from the top down, all right? Um, so just to say, maybe you might want to start from root going forward or something like that. So what would I start that at? Um, well, let me see. I guess I'll start this at the E tritone. No, D tritone? D tritone with the C major chord. Okay. So I'm going to go backwards with it. Start getting a little muddy on me or whatever, you know, a little funny. Start to get a little funny, just a little funny. So I'm coming back up and do this in all 12 keys in your root position. So you know, one, two, three, four. I'm just playing the major chord A, B flat, B, C. And my tritones is just starting on that bottom one with the B tritone, come up to the C tritone. And once again, here in this situation here as well, I know I can do inversion. It might sound better in other inversions. Here. Y'all can follow what I'm saying? So, in this case, I'm just gonna do the root for now. I think that's three keys already there. One, two, three, four, five, right? Six. This is going to do me some good later. Seven, eight. All right. Now, technically, when I usually get around here, I think that's when I start wanting to do inversion. But it's okay. Eight. For sure, I would want to do inversion. Eight. Now, remember I talked about the second inversion? That's what I was doing here. That was what that was at, right? Anyway, so. What was, it? What was that? Eight key, I think. I lost track. Eight, nine. Right? Once again, I'll start one thinking of try, uh, doing inversion, and y'all already heard me doing this already, right? Remember? I already was doing it, right? Okay, so I'll start doing it in the root position. All right, it starts to sound a little lightweight. It starts to sound a little lightweight, right? Once again, I would have probably already start transposing this before I went further but just so you can hear it so you starting to get lighter on you you know it starts to get you know a little light on you so you some sense start to get a little light on you and then you're back to where you were at I'm just up higher Now, the other thing too is changing the bass line. Uh, I started on an E flat. Let's say you can start that same chord movement on uh, A to B flat. <laughs> um, to, uh, uh, what was that? <laughs> My bad. Yeah. So you can start it on A, the same chord. Same chord. I told you I was already doing this already. Uh, and so far. Right? So you know you can do inversions and stuff like that. So that's why I'm, I'm hearing this stuff. Alright, so that's where we at. 
So you just doing this da 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 ba. Alright. Da da. Now without the bass line, this is F minor 9. I'm not, I'm sorry, F minor 11, flat 5. With the bass line with the G on the bottom. It would just be a G7 sharp 9, sharp 5. You can go to C sharp or D flat. It would just be a D flat 9, uh, 13 sharp 11. Oh Lord! Alright. Okay. Alright, so now you get the idea with the changing of the bass. Um, using the same chords, and then you know what cats are doing, what they do. So you did that, 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 right back to the chord I played earlier. Remember when we started out? Right back to that move. You went right there, and I recognized it when I when I when I played it. Now I told you in the video, he took his hands off of the the keyboard. Da, da. So I had to, you know, put my two cents in there. Let me see. I'm trying to remember what I did. The challenging part. Uh, no, I forgot. But uh, I think I say move four times. One. G uh, F minor seven flat five. Well, if I add another little note, I'm playing around with it. And I'm I'm probably M is oh I'm probably M. I probably is um actually putting extra notes in here. But it's an accident, you know, uh because that movement can happen so quick. Alright? And then he's gonna repeat chords. Um to that move again, A flat major 7, take you to the D that made a 7, A flat, no, alright, <laughs> alright, woo, yeah, um, so yeah, alright, um, y'all, this is something else, but anyway, A flat major 7 to D that made a 7, and he take you to an E flat major seven, y'all. He just took the E flat major chord that we would have put the root first, second, and second and virgin up top. He puts it in the left hand, and then he puts the G minor chord in the right hand. Switch the chord. What well, makes you play an E flat minor? I'm mean E flat major uh, chord. Two different chords, y'all. That's what we call mixing, matching chord. Yeah, so you know. Try to. I hear that. Da, da, da. G major chord. Because he played it earlier. Remember that? <laughs> I heard it earlier. So this time, uh, uh, he played it earlier. Uh, uh, I heard it earlier, so I said, okay. time we're going minor move right back to that C minor chord from the top right back to the top and then he's got to go to C sharp and D flat yes sir that's <laughs> D flat and then we're going to uh, E the minor 7 and then I'm pretty sure we probably is going to go for the F minor 9 chord you know so Played a little different, but he kind of chopped at it. <laughs> he 
chopped at it. Uh, so you can say A flat major chord. Depending on what extra note I'm hitting. F, A flat major 9. It's A flat chord. A flat major 7 chord, but with the 9. If I add the F there, it causes me to play the minor 9, F minor 9 chord. F minor 9, 11 chord. Yeah. So either chord. major nine <laughs> you probably I'll probably just do that or I might do the other one too this pen uh, uh. yeah I'll probably go ahead and play the F minor 9 11 chord because it sounds kind of cool um same thing so he's sliding up to it crazy little movement the song is called he is lord actually i forgot to tell y'all that you know he is lord -da 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 -da. Uh, da -da -da -ba -ba. pass the chord he is lord Buddha. pass the move he chords right you know I think that's how you did that <laughs> so instead of playing the minor move transposing the minor move <laughs> and then he's gonna take you to the secret sauce chord he's gonna omit the top note and actually he's just gonna cluster it and then take you to the secret sauce. But that's why he rolled up to it. Transpose. And this note is moving. Transpose. <laughs> Cordy doesn't know what to call this, but um. Cordy's like, yo, what is this? What is this, bro? Let me see if, um, let me see if Medicalis will recognize it. Let me see, what's Medicalis at? Let's see if Medicalis recognizes what this is. Now, I said, before I looked at it, I said, before I looked at this, I'm looking at the, the last note on the bottom, which is G flat or F sharp. Uh, I mean, G flat or F sharp, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So when he did the <laughs> you clearly see that's the one. And you clearly could see that this is obviously the one at the top. And then that's your seven. <laughs> Alright, G flat major seven, right? Right? That's G flat major seven, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at this saying, wait a minute. Now, what trips out things is the four, and we might say sharp four, or we may say five, flat five. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you look at this and say, well, G flat, um, uh, G flat major flat five or something like that. Because, now let me see what Cordy got to say, because this is going to be funny, because uh, uh, for some reason... Cordy can't figure this out, so I have a dick that's gonna tell me what it what it thinks it might be. And so uh Medicalis said exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> G flat major seven flat five. Flat five. Isn't that funny? Because I know my scale. 
That's why, remember I said, you can go from a beginner level musician, you can figure this out by looking at your scale and your number system. Scales G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, <laughs> D flat, E flat, F natural. I'm like, oh. So I see the cluster between <coughs> the seven and the one. But then I saw my thumb hit here, and I know that that's the five, so I say flat five. Instead of saying sharp four, I mean, you can go that route too and call it a sharp four, but I'm gonna start it from the five and half step it down, and that means I'm gonna play a flat five. So basically, <laughs> this, this is definitely um, what I thought it would be. <laughs> G flat major seven flat five is what I start. And you already should know this right now because you just all you did was transpose that last chord from now from the G flat to now F, right? <laughs> F major flat five because you just transpose, you know. Um, and y'all, y'all, we all should know that. Maybe we all, all don't know. But this is the E. Remember the tritone. And you're using the secret sauce chord. Remember, I told you this is the A flat sus four two. I'm sorry, the secret sauce. And if you know your scale and move around, you can drop your E flat to the bottom and it becomes a E flat sus four. E flat sus four, A flat sus two share the same secret sauce. However, this is a uh, E E major seven. E major seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. E major seven. Flat. Five. And where's the five? One, two, three, four, five. Flat five. Flat five. <laughs> All right. E major seven. Flat five. Because remember, this is a five and E. One, two, three, four, five. Flat five. Now, if you add a bass line, that's going to change the name of your chord. So I'm like, oh, wow. All right. Now, this is going to get a little tricky. Let me see. Hear this melody line at the top of my ear. Three chords. That suggests major. That suggests major seven. Now, what was the other chord? No, maybe I might. Hold on, my melody line is off. I was like, right. so this suggests that I'm playing a major chord. I already figured that this, that's my major seven. And that suggests a major chord. Ah, right, so, which one went first? <laughs> All right, let me see, what order was that? Cause see, I told y'all, I, I could hear that. So I had to go, hmm. So I had to figure out what was the chord before that? Nope. Nope. All right. It's not going to be hard. <laughs> Let me see. So, it was the chord before. Right. It's coming. Right. So, I'm missing the one chord. One of the chords. Let me see. So. How would I voice it? How I want to do it? So I'm doing this process of elimination. Sometimes I have to hear it again because after that, I'm not sure. Let me see. Nope. Nope. There it is. <laughs> A flat major seven. I should have figured that out because remember he did it in the beginning of the song. Right da da. Right there. So he, and of course he did it earlier in the song too. You know when he did the uh. Oh we we should have known that right there right. And then also should have known it here. And da da ba. I should have known that too. Okay. Woo. All right. So there it is. A major, A flat major seven to A flat to 
G uh, uh, G, uh, G flat major seven, third inverted. Ooh, that's a lot to remember, y'all. <laughs> Let me see. Shoot, where did I stop at? to it instead of I'll just add another left hand right. da -da -ba -ba. minor move D flat diminished about that then da -da -uh -uh -uh. and then uh, ba -ba -da. now the rest I don't know <laughs> I couldn't tell what we was doing. I hear the organ. So, now, that's over the six, you know. I don't know. I might just do that. Now, but also I hear it. This part. Maybe I'll just do that. Because <laughs> I hear the organ in the background, but the keyboard player kind of stopped playing for a second. Right there is where you stop. See. <laughs> so, since the keyboard player took his hands off the board, I can hear the organ going. be the 6-9 chord no matter how I cut the uh is my wife would say no matter how you slice the uh mustard mm -hmm. you know how, how you cut the mustard you know can you cut mustard I never seen nobody how you cut mustard anyway so we going da, da, um, uh when E flat so we doing um three sharp six to the six Him playing that bass line, you know. See how I can still pull that off. Now, when um Joss had his hands on the keyboard, I could kind of tell. I, I see him doing something. But he took his hands off the board to do something, so I can make that up. <laughs> well, I prefer the other move that I did, you know. Because you're going to this uh, minor 9 chord. C minor 9, 11. Alright, so. Da, da, da. And then he's going to end it. I'm not sure what he did that boom 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 whatever that wasn't yeah he probably did something let me see hold on I'm not trying to mimic everything you know um see uh something I know I know he was doing something he did <laughs> I can make up that and do whatever I want to do right there. Boom. Now he's coming out of it. And remember, I'm I'm figuring out where he's ranging at, y'all. Cause I can hear um the range. He's at the low range. And the note at the mid-range. And here he's at the at the high range. Now I know where he's at. So that helps out. Alright, so I know where he's at. Then he come up. Let me see how I'll do that. 
<laughs> so now I'm playing chords from the low range. He's actually doing a tritone, actually. So at the I threw my little two cent there, and then you know he's really actually doing tritone, but I'm gonna create a chord from it. So. Going to A flat, A flat, and then I'm gonna use a tritone. It's a tritone, but I'm I'm, I'm making it out of chord now. And then the last chord. <laughs> and then he ends it on the one. So the tritone with the secret sauce chord that we heard earlier. Down here, he puts it here. And the tritone. So, what? And then, and then he goes, uh, A flat, E flat. <laughs> that was petty, yo, but. Uh, Sometimes I catch the stuff. You know what's in E flat, and so from a beginner level musician, right? <laughs> All right, for from a beginner level musician, can you go from beginner level to advanced or intermediate? Yes, it's just the type of material you choose to work on. So that's what makes a big difference if you choose a material that you want to advance yourself to the next level is only you what you're really doing is you listen to an idea from somebody listen to their pattern really <laughs> learning their pattern I probably 9 out of 10 would never came with this pattern right I thought of it I don't know the words to this song. He is Lord. Uh, uh, um, how's that song go? I don't remember. He is. How's that song go? He is Lord. He is Lord. Uh, I had to listen to it. I don't know how this song go. But just from messing with this song, he is Lord. <laughs> the way he they did it. He is Lord. I wouldn't have thought of it. Uh, 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 whatever the words are, you know. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't know the song like that, but um, I would just say that would be my probably my approach. Now here's somebody else do it from this angle. You know, what I'm saying? He is Lord. you know, um, with all this little fancy stuff. He is Lord. He is Lord. Ba da 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 He is Lord. He is. No passing moves right before I get there, right? Passing moves. Whatever the words they say, you know. He is risen from the dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He is Lord. Boo do 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 that you can play this song the way you heard somebody else did it, or you can flip it a little bit and do it your own way. But you know what? I have to hear the song. I think they don't do it. I think I may have heard it once, and I think it's an F or something. I think it's an F. Um, <laughs> woo! So, 
this video is all about do you want to go and stay it in the beginner level and do you want to move to a much advanced level right remember i said started here <laughs> I said, hmm, I could do it better than this, right? And come around the second time. Now, I didn't do this earlier, right? You know what I'm saying? And I come from this angle. Five. Um, thing. I didn't do that at first, you know? I didn't do that at first. I didn't do this at first, right? I didn't do that at first. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, thank you, Lord. Stole some ideas from Jason White. Thank you. I'm not a keyboard player, so I'm messing all that up, but anyway. Thank you. It's a white move. <laughs> Use some Jason White move, you know. Now I'm using some Jason White moves, right? Or oh, I can use some Mike Brill stuff. <laughs> I was already using this chord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have one. <laughs> oh, I don't forgot the moves already. Uh, I gotta listen to it again. Let me see how it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man um see what y'all done did look see what y'all done got me involved with um yeah if you want to go from advanced level i mean rookie level to advanced level it is possible it's just it's just all about the material you choose to um make it happen um and that's it i mean everything the uh, veterans out there are uh I say veterans. Everything that the pro musicians are doing is chords that we now become familiar with them. Um, it's just how they just voicing them. You know, this is that's just a uh, a augmented chord, A major, sharp to five, at seven. I said that earlier when I was telling y'all C major, sharp five, at seven. And if you take that same information and transpose. To all 12 keys, uh, um, you see what I mean. Yes, you know, E major sharp 5 at 7, right? F major, right? Sharp 5 at 7. One finger was already there, right? <laughs> you know? So G major sharp 5 at 7. Uh, I mean, G sharp, F sharp, whatever. Okay, G major uh, <laughs> at the 7, right? 
A flat major chord, sharp five, add seven. And A major chord, sharp five, add seven. Now, I might add the two or the nine in there to give you that, you know, to give you that, you know, you know, but, um, what is this on? Um, you go bass? Must be on you go bass. So, um, the moves are all basic theory. It's just how they placed it <laughs> and where they dropped it at, you know, and then it's like, whoa, okay, all right, I'm feeling that. You know, I, 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 I'm feeling that. That's nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's it. I mean, but most of the majority of the chords that are being dropped, I already knew how to play them. It just, I, I never thought of it that way. Hold on. I had already played. Y'all heard me doing them already, right? And that's from a rookie baby saint <laughs> at beginner level and teaching myself the theory behind the madness. It's what you teach yourself and what you learn, and then you hold on to it like a pit bull. You know what I mean? I think he was doing the. You know, it sounded like he was going from a six to five. Sus four, you know. Alright, I think that's what he was doing there. Alright, so um I think that's what he was playing there. Yeah, yeah. And then he hit you with this. Yeah, so you know, you know, he hitting you with that uh augmented chord. Now I said a, a major and you sharp your five at, and that's an augmented chord and then you add that uh, seventh there. But we're gonna add the two, to give it, we call it flay. But this end up being an A major chord, <coughs> A major nine, if you know your scale, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So it ends up being an A major nine. Sharp to five, remember? Sharp five. So it's the A major uh, chord, uh, A major nine sharp five, y'all. So you know, I, I think he was doing this. No. Going to the five, and then he hit you with this. Now it's a that was kind of the beginning, right? Woo! B flat minor nine, nine eleven, y'all. <laughs> so um. This might be real, right? I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, um, you know. And then, you know. <laughs> Ooh, let me see some. Mm, I guess I'll leave it there for now. Um, this is the sound he's using, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go vintage. Then I wanna go. What this how does this gonna let me out of here? Uh let me see. I don't know how this gonna let me out. Hold on. So about that. <laughs> Start it all over again. Cause I forgot how it's gonna let me out. Let me out. Let me out. And so then if I find a string, I had one yesterday last night, fooling around with this by accident. Um, gee, I don't know how far up was that strings. Oh, string and piano. Let me try that string. Actually, it has the same strings that I had on my keyboard. Let me see, make sure it don't sound crazy. Let me see. All right, so. I, and, no. Let me see, what was it? <laughs> All right, I'll find me another string because I don't like that one. What was the other one I had last night? 
Oh, I forgot the other one. What was it called? It was another string I had. Let me see. Let's see. Now that's that West Coast stuff. <laughs> Somebody programmed this and said West Coast. But anyway, um. <laughs> so this was called West Coast. I think, I guess somebody figured the idea on how to, yeah. All right, shit, hold on. No, oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 